All right, again, thousands of kids in the Inland Empire will be waking up extra early for the first day of school today. And our Tina Patel is live with more on the details. Tina, good morning. Good morning. We've got our technical details worked out so we can talk about the excitement and a little bit of the anxiety with going back to school. This year, there's no school buses to catch, no worries about getting to campus on time, but there's also not going to be any reconnecting with classmates and teachers. Everything is going to be done virtually. Take a look at this video. The school districts throughout the state and the state itself have spent the summer coming up with plans to ensure that distance working will work better in the fall. There is going to be more structure and accountability. Attendance will be taken and students will have a set amount of live interaction with teachers each day. Still, we talked to a longtime teacher in Azusa this weekend, and she admits even though she's been working on her lesson plans, she doesn't feel as prepared for the school year as she would like. First month of school is building the relationships. You're showing the kids that you really care and you really love them. That's the part where I'm pre unprepared for is how do I show those kids through the computer. You can hear the emotion in that teacher's voice. There's going to be a lot of work in progress for teachers and for students and their families. Now, one note that we want to make is the Chino Valley Unified School District will be restarting their meal program today. Grab and go meals will be available at six locations throughout the district, but students and their families do need to sign up ahead of time. We'll send it back to you, DeMarco and Suzanne. I do like that, the, the grab and go meals for the kids, because yes. sometimes it's the only meal that some of these kids eat a day. So, that is, gotta yeah, love it. That you need a good full belly to learn. Yes, you do. <laughs>